welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiki and in today's video we are going to do a really quick how to read the Fall Away series by Penelope Douglas and how it connects to the new Hellbent series by Penelope Douglas. Here in Australia, we really, really suck at getting books released in store. Just recently, we have had four boys released all through our stores. So I'm talking Kmart, Big W, Target, QBD, Dimmix, it's everywhere. And I'm finding a lot of my favorite Aussie books to babes are picking this book up because it's a Penelope Douglas book and it is so hard to find Penelope Douglas on our shelves here. It's super exciting. What we're not realizing is that this is actually the next generation series to the Fall Away series. I know here in Australia, you will be able to find Bully and I'm pretty sure I've seen Rival on QBD shelves. I know you can buy them online. They cost a bloody fortune though, because hi, we're in Australia. My only problem though is that you are going to really struggle to find the rest of the series unless you buy on Amazon. So it's kind of annoying that we have to wait for that series to be here in Australia. Like it's just not fair sometimes. Of course, we're stocking this one everywhere. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the Fall Away series first and then how that ties into Falls Boys. So in the Fall Away series, your first book is Bully. This follows Jared and Tate. This is a true high school bully romance. If high school bully romance is not your thing, I wouldn't even bother with this series. If you are open to high school bully romances and tension and angst and all that sort of stuff, I highly recommend. I can tell you now that Penelope Douglas does a really good job at making her characters seem very mature and a lot older than what they should be. I am almost 32, so reading characters this young can be quite hard sometimes. I tend to either age them up in my head or, like I said, the authors can do a really good job at making them come across super, super mature and like they're not 17. So after you read Bully, you are going to go on to Until You. Until You is technically a 1.5 book. This is Jared's book of Bully in his pov. A lot of people will want to skip this book thinking it's the same book as this. I recommend you don't. Jared is a true bully in this book. In Until You, and I did find I actually preferred Jared's pov to Tate's pov in this book, but until you, you actually get the backstory of Jared's trauma, why he is the way he is. You get more of his family history. What happened to him during the summer that him and Tate were apart before they became enemies. I do recommend reading this one and not skipping it, even though you think it's the same book as Bully. I found this one to be a lot better than Bully, so I highly recommend. After you read Until You, you're going to move on to Rival. Rival is Maddock and Fallon's book. Maddock is Jared's best friend. You'll find out who Fallon is in the series. This book was great. Probably not my favourite compared to Bully, but I did still really enjoy this. After I read Rival, I really struggled to find Falling Away at a reasonable price here in Australia. The series kind of sat on my TBR for a while and I really wish it didn't because Falling Away is my favourite of the series. The tension and the angst in this book is so next level, it's ridiculous. This was so good. Falling Away follows Jackson and Casey. Jackson is Jared's half-brother and Casey is or was Tate's best friend. So she starts out to be Tate's best friend. You'll find out everything in the series. I really don't want to give away the story or anything like that. I would love for you to just go in and read it. There is a massive family tree that happens in this. I will attach the family tree into the video so you can get a little peek at it. It sounds a little confusing here with me trying to explain it, but I can tell you now that when you're in the series, it's actually really easy to follow. These are your main books for the series. After you read this, you then go on to the next flame. The next flame is two novellas in the one book. There was a time where you could buy the two novellas separately. I believe you can still buy one of them separately, but the other one is only available on Kindle. Just, just get them together. It makes more sense just to get the one book with the two novellas. Your first novella is A Flame. This is Jared and Tate's happy ending. 
Penelope Douglas gives them a real life dose of reality in this series. So whilst they get their happy ending in Bully, it's not actually their happy ending because they've got to go through their college years and everything and real life just isn't as smooth sailing as what it is in books. So they do get their own novella, it is their happy ending, it is years later, it is amazing, it is fantastic, it is one of my favourites of the series. It's a must read. The second novella in this book is Next to Never. Now Next to Never introduces you to the next generation. Wasn't my favourite. I think I rated this novella three stars. It was a little hard to get into. The book follows Quinn. Quinn ends up being the half-sister to Jared, Jackson and Maddox. Because yes, Jared's and Jackson's mum ends up being with Maddox's dad. Again, confusing, but when you are reading the series, it will all make sense. Now, this novella here, Next to Never, follows Quinn, who finds a diary or a story written about her mum's and her dad's love story. Super interesting. You don't have to read it to move on to the Next Generation books, but I do recommend it. It kind of gives you a bit of a backstory. It kind of gets you to know Quinn. It kind of introduces you to the kids of these guys. So it was kind of fun to read. Once you've read these novellas, that's when this series comes into play. This is the Hellbent series that Penelope Douglas is currently writing. I believe she's still in her writing cave, going by what her Instagram says, writing book two. Falls Boys is book one. This is called the Hellbent series. There is going to be six books to this series, which is super exciting. I'm still in two minds on if I want to wait for the whole series to come out, which is going to be years away, so I don't think that's going to happen, and binge read it, or if I want to kind of like go two at a time type thing, so then that way I'm not waiting so long for the next book, but I still have the next book on hand. This book here follows Arrow and Hawk. Hawk is Jackson and Casey's son. He is the eldest of the next generation. I cannot wait to read this book. I haven't read it yet. I'm kind of hoping that the next book in the Hellbent series comes out this year, which I'm pretty sure it is. So then I can start this one and be able to go and get the next book straight away. In the Hellbent series, we do have six books. Falls Boys is the first book. Then we have Pirate Girls, Quiet Ones, Night Thieves, Parade Alley and Firefalls. All this information can be found on Penelope Douglas's website. She also has a family tree there as well so you can find out who's connected to who, what child is from what family and all that sort of stuff. I know it's confusing now but trust me when you are reading this series it all makes sense. You can read the Hellbent series as a standalone series you can read Falls Boys as a standalone. You don't have to read the Fall Away series to start this series. Personally, for me, I recommend it for the best reading experience because why not? Like in your Hellbent series, you are in the same town, the same houses. You are going to meet the parents. You are going to probably get flashbacks of their time, which is from these books. So why not just go in and read the Fall Away series first so you've got the history there, you know the history, you know the family tree. And then when you start the Hellbent series, the experience is just going to be 10 times better. You're going to have like nostalgic feelings, I'm sure, when you read little flashbacks. I know I read a little teaser part for this on Penelope Douglas's Instagram and it's about Tate and Jared, so... That was really cool to see. Um, I love Next Generation books so much. That's it, friends. That's how you read the Fall Away series and the new Hellbent series by Penelope Douglas. Start with Bully. Start with the Fall Away series and then move on to the Hellbent series. At least by reading this series first, it'll give you time to kind of get to know your surroundings and your characters and all that. So when you get to this series, you'll probably have more books released. It's a win-win, really. This video was requested by a couple of my bookster friends. I hope this makes sense. I hope I've explained it well. I'm not sure if I have. If you have any questions though, please drop a comment below. Let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions you have or head over to my bookstagram page, Books with Kiki, and send me a DM. I'm always up for a chat about books and about series. 
I love Penelope Douglas. I love the Fall Away series. I'm 99% sure I'm going to absolutely love the Hellbent series. I hope you all enjoyed this video, friends, and I'll see you in the next one.